Charles, 31 years old from Illinois, is asking the following question. I keep getting conflicting advice. Some people say it's better to go out alone or solo when you're meeting women, while others say that it's much better to go out with a group of friends or at least with one good wingman. Which option do you prefer and why? This is a good question and my answer is unequivocal. Without a doubt, at least in this culture in the US, you're much better off going out with friends or with one good wingman when trying to meet women. There is no way around it. There's a negative perception of guys who go out and hang out by themselves in bars and clubs. They look weird and to many women they look creepy because they're just standing there and they're staring at girls and it looks like the only reason they're there is to hit on women. And this makes them look unattractive and it also makes the women who are near them feel uncomfortable. When you go out with your friends, you look more attractive. You're not just standing there, you're talking to them, you're engaged, and it looks like you have another quote-unquote legitimate reason for being there. And if you end up having an opportunity and talking to a girl, then it happens. It's great. This leads me to the second part, the wingman. It's a very good idea to have a good wingman in order to be better at meeting women. And I emphasize, a good wingman, not just any wingman. Now, what makes a good wingman? I believe that a good wingman should have three critical qualities in order to help you in your efforts of meeting women. Number one, a good wingman should be an interesting guy to you, someone who you enjoy spending time with. So, if you go out and nothing happens, you don't approach anyone, you don't get any phone numbers, you don't meet anyone, you don't feel like you wasted an evening. You still enjoyed hanging out with that guy. You weren't bored. The second quality that a good wingman should have is that his skill of approaching and talking to girls should be equal or superior to yours. He shouldn't be someone who is just sitting there and discouraging you from making moves. He shouldn't be someone who says, oh, you know, she's sitting too far, or she looks stuck up, or, you know, this is not a good place, let's go, or, you know, I'm not feeling this place, or I'm not feeling that place. You shouldn't be with a guy who comes up with all kinds of excuses to rationalize why you should not make a move. He should be the guy who grabs you and say, hey, this is two of us here. I see two girls sitting on the other side. Let's go together because it's much easier to do this together. Together, Let's just go together, introduce ourselves and see if we can sit and start talking to them. That's the kind of person you want. And number three, a good wingman should not be a competitive cock blocker. He shouldn't be someone who is trying to dominate the attention of the entire group of girls if you end up talking to girls. He shouldn't be someone who is trying to take the one girl who you're interested in. He, he should have enough respect and honor to let you go after whoever you want and not compete with you over the same girl. And of course, that should be mutual. You should not be competing. You should, you should be helping each other. So, if you manage to find a friend like that, then your ability and your efforts of going out, coming up to girls, talking to girls and attracting them would be much more productive and much more exciting. Going out alone is generally not an option, at least in the US. The only time when you should be going out alone is if you're traveling somewhere, if your job requires going all around different cities all around the country and then you have a legitimate excuse hey you don't have friends in the city you don't have a wingman you're visiting so if you feel comfortable and confident you come up and talk to girls but in your own environment on your own home turf you should be able to have some kind of support whether a group of friends or one good friend one good wingman who you would be able to go out and have a lot of fun together while helping and encouraging each other to do better than you otherwise would. Thank you.